Hey Stampers, Gamer again, and I'm having a play with something different tonight. It's uh, this set from Altenew, and it's this one die, but I'm going to make two cards with it. Um, I love anything, thanks. I'm going to need to save all my bits as well. Um, I'll show you the two cards. I've done like a rainbow effect, and I've done this beautiful thanks. Uh, what I did was just coloured with blends to give like a rainbow effect. And then I used Winker Stella inside, and then used some little black gems. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the black gems on the next one, and I'm going to use brighter colours. Um, and so with the cutout, I made this one as well. So I added some love arts, um, oh, which I'll have to get because, and I've added some beautiful iridescent gems there, and used the other thanks. So one die cut, run through, and it's made two beautiful cards i think they're stunning i love them both so i'm going to grab myself some wooden elements first i do have one heart left here i went through my oh what's it called i can't remember oh my i still it's gone it's gone i can't remember <laughs> oh my pocket envelopes and these were in there beautiful and these ones were in with one of the swaps so if you recognize these thank you for sending them to me they are absolutely gorgeous right let me get my other elements oh my gosh i don't know where they are i tell you what i'm going to do instead of hearts this time i've got the butterfly element i'll use some of those yeah because there's flowers in here there's butterflies so instead of hearts this time i'm going to use my butterfly elements and flowers to add some wooden elements to this card. Look, you've got these beautiful leaves. Let me get my pokey tool. There it is. There's these gorgeous butterflies, flowers, leaves, and oh, look at those. And you know me and butterflies, I love them. So I'm going to be pulling some of these out. Absolutely, oh look at those, they're absolutely gorgeous. So, we're going to be working with these. I'm going to pop them to one side. We're still going to add gems. Uh, this was gifted to me by the gorgeous Cinders, who I'm getting quite worried about. She hasn't been in touch since before Christmas, and I'm worried sick about her. So, if you're watching, baby girl, please send me a message, because I am worried sick about you. Um... I haven't used the for everything out of here, it's massive. So I used this one, which is out of the Well Said, which is by Stamping Up, and it's uh, this one for everything. Thanks for everything. I haven't done anything on the insides, but I, I might do. I've got it all lined up in my Stamparatus because I'm using very thin strips of card which are at my scraps as well. So it's quite um, it's quite a, a lucrative die, this is. Absolutely love it. So I've got two card bases. I've got two black bases. And I've got one piece of Whisper White, which is going to do our colouring on. But two cards, eh? Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm just going to grab some scrap, because I will go over the edges. And I'm going to do a bit more of a block because I only got a little bit of blue in there and a little bit of blue in there. So I'm going to add a bit more to the sides. In fact, I'm going to actually I'm gonna pop that on there and I'm going to keep it a little bit straight this time because I did put it on the wonk like that just so I could get that blue in actually. So I'm going to... Actually, that's uh, a good size, isn't it? So, but my card was bigger and I had to trim it down because I kept it the same size as the black. And it wasn't until after I'd done the die cutting that I realised that I needed to have a little border all the way around as well. So I've cut this one to size. So I probably will get those colours in this time. Yay! <laughs> isn't that a gorgeous die? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know me and big, bold sentiments. So I'm going to have blue again, but I'm going to go for slightly darker this time. And I use the light, so I'm going to use the dark. And I'm still going to have my colour on the side. 
but I'm going to fetch it down a bit lower. I can keep checking it actually. I know I'm going to get it in there. And what I did, I just turned it round and did everything until I met in the middle. You could use watercolour card, you know, it's anything you want. I just love my blends. It's so easy. You could use watercolour pencils even. How's that one? So, what colour did I go for? I went for soft sea foam. So I'm going to add a bit of granny apple green, but I'll go for pale granny grapple. Granny grapple. Granny apple green. Granny grapple. <laughs> that was a word for you. So, and I love it when they mix the two colours together. With these ones, now I'm going to keep them a little bit thinner because I know I'm going to get that colour in because it's just going to fit all the way across and it's just going to be gorgeous. But I want to leave enough space for the other colours as well. So I'm only doing a couple of lines. I'm going to bring in a little bit of Highland Heather. Now a bit more darker. I'm only using the pale one this time. You could just have fun. You could just, instead of doing a rainbow effect, you could just do different coloured spots, I suppose. Or pinstripes, even. Or your buffalo stamp. And try and do an ombre effect with that. Anything. Just have fun with your colours. Just enjoy every little bit of it. So I'm going to go a bit... Ooh, I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to have a bit of orange this time. So this is my pumpkin pie, but it's only the pale one, but it's darker than the last lot of colours I had. Ooh, look at that one. That went off the beaten track. So I'm just going to add a line here. And then I'm, I've got to get a bit of yellow in there, so... I'm gonna go for per oh, I'm gonna go for mango melody actually. And I'm just gonna fill in the gaps now. I'm even gonna cheat now that back. Oh, just so I can fill those white bits in. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Let's see. Oh, look at that. It changes the colour just on the ends. I'm just thinking it's a bit a lot. It's a fair bit of blue on there for when I, I do the other piece. So we're going to have a, like a, a yellowy green on the ends. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So, popping my pens away. I am now going to run this through the dye machine. Oh, just scrummy looking. How beautiful is that going to look? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful in these paler tones. I just love them. But look how bright, vibrant that's going to be. So, I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> so, angling it on my, just slightly at an angle so we don't get a crunch. Let's add my top plate. Just roll it back. So fetch all those little bits so I'm turning it the right way. I threw them in the bin earlier, thinking, oh, I don't need them, and then I had to rummage through them and get them out. Look at that. Even that alone is just scrummy. So I'm keeping those bits ready for the first card. Just tap it. Look at that. It's, how easy was that? So, oh my gosh. Look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that stunning? So there's my bits. I've got to keep that. I've got to keep that. There it is. There is a one ultra tiny little piece that I need. 
just there. And I had to find that in my bin, and I did. Oof. So it is just, I'm going to keep it that way round because I need to put glue on the back and then glue it down. So I left that sitting there knowing I was going to make a second card. Now I'm going to layer these up. And then I've got to add all those tiny little bits. And that tiny little piece there, it just goes in there off the S. So I'm going to grab my glue. I'm just going to get a bit more comfortable. I was sitting on the edge of my chair. So, and you, when you're gluing this one down, go all around the edges. But try and go on these little bits as well because you don't want them poking up. just have fun with them I mean I set out to do one card and ended up with two beautiful ones that, oh. so I'm just going to layer these and I make sure my border is perfect all the way around just need to pull that down just a, a fraction and then I'm going to squash those into place and I'm going to rub from the back because and I've got a little tiny bit of glue. I know it dries clear, but keep, I can't help myself. <laughs> I'm a bit of a weirdo like that, so let's get this idea down properly. Oh, where's that little gun? Where's that little piece gone? I've lost it. Oh my gosh. There it is. Pick it up. Oh gosh, it's gone under my. How did that end up over there? Oh. Oh my gosh, my newt had gone schizo again. So I'm just going to add a tiny dot just so I can add some on the back of here and pick that piece up. And looking at this, I can see which way round it goes where I need to pop it. There we go. That is the most important piece. Oof. Now this bit is not nothing to do with the letters, but it's that gap there in between the H and the T. So I can add normal glue to this now. Oops. Just I'm going to dot it in. Believe it or not, I could actually layer this piece in without gluing it, just popping it into place. Oh look, I was just off a little bit, but it doesn't matter. And I can put all these pieces back in. And I know they're going to be in the right place. <coughs> Excuse me. As long as I don't get any glue on this piece. These are so tiny, these little bits. But they're worth it. It's worth everything to do this. Perfect. Oh, I love it. It's just so cute. Look, I was a fraction out, but it doesn't matter. No one's going to know. Just pop that into place. And then I can tap. I don't want to come out now. There we go. Gently ease that up. There we go. Perfect. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So cute. I love it. These would make fabulous kids' cards. 
So I'm just going to get my base. Making sure they're right together at the end. Give them a pinch. And make sure that it's really nice and burnished. A little bit out there for some reason. Hold that into place. Come on now, don't be, uh... oh, isn't it great how we can manipulate a piece of paper? Oh, there we go, that's it's still out just a touch, but I'll tidy that up on the ends with my guillotine, I think. And that now can be adhered onto my card. Perfect, love it. Two cards, one run through the dye machine. And two beautifully looking cards. Let's find this up. Just give that a rub from the back so we get our glue to stick. Beautiful. Oh, just so pretty. Love that. So I'm going to grab my Winter Stella. I always shake it to prime it. I'm just going to have my sparkle in there. They're just so pretty. I love it. Look at me in deep thought again. I always go quiet when I'm colouring. <laughs> I do apologise. And I'm going to pop that one up on dimensionals. I love big sentiments, I do. I've got so many of the old new sets. Not big ones like this, but the flowers and they're just so pretty. I'm going to start pulling them out, I think. Are you other la you ladies into any other crafts? Uh, not like knitting and crocheting. I can do them, but I just can't cast on and off. I'm on about like, would you like to see picture frames decorated? Um, mason jars, wine bottles, you know, stuff like that. Do you, are you into things like that? 3D projects? Something with a bit of clout that we can get our teeth into? Look how pretty that is. That is just stunning. Look at the sparkle on there. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And I'm not, like I say, I'm not going to add the black. I think it's too black then. So I'm going to, I've got these beautiful, these, I've got a tiny little bit. Oh, let me get my little dish. They're all the same size, I'm afraid, but they've got like a rainbow pearlescent look to them. So I'm going to add some of those. I'm just going to dot and I think then what am I pick it to or pick it up? There we go. Squash them down. Absolutely gorgeous.
Just add them wherever you think. Let's try that. They're a little bit heavier than the other gems. This tool is so cute. That looks like it's going in a straight line, doesn't it? Beautiful, beautiful gems. Once you've got them in a cluster you want, I just press them down. Oh, I love it. I think I'm just going to add a couple more because I'm going to remove some glue. That's plenty, so I think it's uh, gone over the top, I think. Because they're so big. I don't know, now that I like that actually, but I'm just going to take off that glue on this one as well. Just use my glue eraser. Hmm. It does come off. needs to dry properly. There we go. That's better. Oh, I love it. Isn't that beautiful? So, let's get... Let me pop that away a second. get a little strip because we don't need a lot fetch this in I know it's on that line I'm going to turn it around actually because that's the straight edge Try that. Perfect. My battery's really low again. I can't believe this battery wearing out so quickly. There we go, there's one. And I'm going to need one for the other one. Magnets clashing together. Sure, that's straight then. And one more pass. Perfect. Yay! There we go. There's that for everything. If my battery dies, I'll be second swapping it over, but. Please bear with me. I can remove that. I'll do that later. I'll pop that back later. So, just taking my little scissors and I'm going to just pen at the end. And trim that down a little bit. Oops. 
Oops, I've lost my dimensionals. There we go. Perfect. I bet you I've got a, a bauble on there now. It's... Uh, Right there. There we go. There's card one. Thanks. Whatever you did. I would sort something out for the middles later. So I'm going to pop that on there. Now we're going to flip this over and start adding dimensionals. Fingers crossed my battery doesn't die. So these are pretty wide enough to get them on. love this. So I might put this one at an angle. Okay, another one I'll put up there. <coughs> they fit in there beautifully. Lovely nice wide lettering. That's perfect. I think it's got to take all the backings off now. It doesn't take long. Whoops. Perfect. Now I can pick this up and position this. I'm just going to have it graduating slightly. Oh, I'll leave it over the edge. Oh, gorgeous, just so pretty. Wait there, let me see if I can get one more. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And once that goes against our white card, I need them for penning at the ends on that as well. And then I can add those beautiful butterflies and flowers and leaves. Oh, and then what I did with the Winker Stella on here which went in between just to add that shine A little tiny dot in there Oh, so pretty. Love it. Need a bit more glue now. I can't wait for my nails to grow back. Beautiful. Just give it a rub from the back. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add my little sentiment this time. Oh, 
more dimension out. Take off the back end. straight. Oh, perfecto. And now I'm going to add the same little gems I had on the first one. These lovely white, and they're all different sizes. Just absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to dot my glue on there again. Just look at oh let's get our butterflies on first. So I'm gonna go for smaller ones I think. I'm just gonna grab that one there. That is beautiful. Oh love it. And then we can add some Winker Stella on these to shine their bodies up. Perfect. I'm going to add two of those. Ease them out gently. Add my glue. I'm going to have this one going this way. Perfect. Just so sweet, and I'm gonna pop one of these little ones out here as well. There we go, absolutely gorgeous, just so pretty. And I think I'll pop that one just there. Oh, love it. Again, go over the wooden elements with my Winker Stella. Just add a bit more shine on there. They are just so pretty. those oh my gosh right now for my glue and I'm not gonna add as many this time I would really I hope you've enjoyed the card anyway Oops. that one needs turning over Yes, it does. That's better. Now it decides to turn back. My glue will dry around the edges, but you know, I'm, I'm just so fussy. Just take that off. Oh, can you be here all day? I'm <laughs> sorry about that. So. Turn it over, please. Some single ones. I think that should be plenty. I can get. 
get them turned over. I would really hope uh, you like the card and would be over the moon if you give me a thumbs up and a share. That would be fabulous. And if you've enjoyed watching my videos, please don't forget to press the subscribe button. I'm only saying this now in case my battery dies, I do apologise. And uh, I think that's perfect. Oh, one more there. That's it. There's my two cards with one sentiment run through the dye machine. I'm going to get them back to show you all of them. I just think you, when you've got dyes like that you can just do so much. So there's a butterfly one. There's the hearts. There's our thanks. And that one's on a slant. But there are my four cards with just two goes through the dye machine with that beautiful sentiment from Alta New. I hope you've enjoyed it because I've had so much fun making these. I'm going to think of something to do on the inside. <laughs> but have fun. Get massive dyes and just make two beautiful cards with them all. So till next time, I love you all. Bye.